Yeah. All right, it's recording. All right, so. Anybody not ready? Uh, I need to open that. Thank you, Dan. From the plain view doctrine, Miranda warning and exclusionary rule of qualified immunity, police and courts operate co constitutively to justify unconstitutional action. The law is used to uphold the legitimacy of this empty system and expands police narrative via legal ideology. This system enables the police to justify the court's existence and the court to justify police existence. This relationship frames legal doctrines as rigid and static. It also expands doctrines as qualified immunity to discipline all society and law of a code three. Law helps constitute discursive formations which impose forms of discursive possibility and subjects use the law in everyday activity. And legal ideology is given further unintended, unintended legitimization. The courts and police in a situation of mutual dependence courts legitimize police practices. Police practices provide opportunity to the Courts legitimize their, their existence. Consider how plain view doctrine Miranda warning exclusionary rule came into being. Doctrine became a basis for constructing narratives by police crisis could upset this when the media exposed the police engaging unconstitutional behavior. Mutual dependence is unstable. Both spheres are implicating change to the adjust plain view doctrine. Training educate, uh, educate the offer as to its officer as to its origins and importance. Everyday activity may be guided by this much. Uses it as a way to construct narratives after the fact, a way of avoiding dismissal of illegally obtained evidence. Narratives are constructed by incorporating legal principles and linguistic forms. Both the police and judiciary are implicated of the police construction give form and energy to legally sound principles, providing them with legitimacy. Law may have tenderly different differences. Constructions of education is penetrated by them. Law acts as a mediating mechanism, the bearer of normalization by disciplinary practices, and these static signifiers force subjectivity to correspond to predetermined categories set forth by the law. This is the process of edible subjecthood. Anything that differs from the ideal is forced to homogenize to allow the system to function. Reason and ideal subjects are subjecthood are socially constructed as inevitable. This is the basis of exclusion, which enables disciplinary power. Zevnik 16. A legal subject limit only particular experience of the world. A range of subjects remains outside of the institutional forms of legal subjectivity. Edible legal subjectivity is exclusionary is only a limited number of recognized as subjects. Laws legal recognized notion derived from the Cartesian idea of the human being capable of reason and contradiction the heart of universalism. Postmodern subjects relating to authority no longer hierarchical. Once exposed only after the creation of the different myth, the, we consider society the adaptive reason might seem common, yet it's because of particular scientific reason, the image of the subject creature play a long dualism, prominent modern thinking, the implications of such are immense. A subject is particularly embodied as uh, subject is a particular embodiment of being and the process of education loses agency instead of being free to control the social political field, subject is subjected to rules and freedoms and associated with uh, particular order and dominant social conventions, the combination of biological and symbolic aspects and of subjects, possible ways of distance with its physical existence, which is specific to a dominant mode of existence that facilitates reproduction of the same legal subject, unify the subject to one collective subject, which is governed by the sovereign, the logic derived from the edible law, edible law no longer represents subjects, the invading reality through human guarantees of legal authority, but ultimately the rethink law and the law creates the change of legal system achieve it reflects the change of libidinal bond the way with being related to desirable concepts that the that departing from the legislative function leaves us with uncertainty. The outcome would be, uh, would be different, would be subjugated to different rules and laws. We have to refuse the comfort by the horizontal motive, horizontal motive identification and recognize the absolute singularity of each subject motive description of the social left capacity to Recreate, and create and recreate itself in different forms of existence, and any explicit attempts to resistance, if an individual rebellion, acts of violence, or otherwise maintain the legal system, the law requires criminality in order to, to order, in order to how what it means to be innocent. That only the only way to produce change is to criticize this ideological underpinning. Nurse from out fourteen. Racism in the police and obscene underside to official rhetoric, part of being isolated bad apples, they are part and parcel commission or prohibition, take the MC and supplement away, the structures of the sin, prohibition will, will disappear. The founding judicial of any system, including the legal system, the current so radical redefines existing standards of legality and illegality. The distinction is not between one individual act of disobedience, but between the particular transgression, the absolute transgression of the origin of the legal system. For such a deny the five the system, their obedience and disobedience must go beyond the critique and disobedience of particular law. The arch crime dissolves its own criminality by overcoming the existing definitions of what is legal and what is criminal without the criminal underclass became by the drug war. Where would the corrupt activities of the institution be? The legal system relies on and breeds the legality. Last thing, it wants the disappearance of legal activity. It doesn't take it takes more than mere disobedience change the system, individual transgressions only succeed in maintaining the system, and we advocate psychoanalytical jurisprudence as a methodology to limit qualified immunity for police officers. Qualified immunity is not only a legal doctrine, it is also a signifier that upholds the judicial system's an inability to be questioned. Psychoanalysis is a critical analysis of our unconscious assumptions. It disrupts modern systems of law by adding subjectivity, which is otherwise foreclosed. Through this, we can understand the legal order as contingent rather than innate, a process which reproduces particular subjects. This enables a change in the affectivity, power, and textual codes that make up what we call the law of Goodrich 97. 
Psychoanalysis has been received as too threatening to be direct, addre addressed directly in the study of the law. The unconscious has not figured greatly in modern theories of positive law. The psychoanalysis uh, threatens to disrupt the truth of modern jurisprudence, the question of rationality and legal practice by addressing the unconscious institutions, the desires of office interpreters of the law as well as subject to work of psychoanalytical jurisprudence to introduce the question of emotions of the the analysis into the analysis, the elaboration of critical mythology for reading law and all through the relationship between the conscious and unconscious dimension. Psychoanalytical jurisprudence, the theory of law which seeks to understand the legal order, the structure of mechanisms for social form of reaction of subject law is at the center of the symbolic order. Law terms like dictates and advanced middle places, roles and relationship law is in terms of symbolic dimension of social relations forms of context with in which identity is identity is in the institution. Psychoanalysis allows us to address the complex and critical questions which relate to the subjectivity of legal practice and the affectivity of the law. The law in this context is simply the manifestation of power as a structure. In the West, we are habitants of a very specific form or, or body of language. The text or written reason of law, the symbolic form and scriptural identity of Western institutions. It is the text that establishes our social identity, institutional place, and is which provides us our jurisdiction, our right of speech, in which we were born and in which we die. The role of the ballot is to vote for the best methodology to analyze the unconscious. Our societies are ordered according to social norms, which we internalize as true, known as the superego. These can both maintain and deconstruct the law, which uphold particular ways of living. Institutions are structured according to these social norms, which give them their authority and rules and obligations. Change is therefore constructed on a symbolic level between social subjects, enabling change within political, normative, and legal influence. Zebnik 16. The psychoanalytical engagement with the law explores the mythical foundations of the law and the law's relation to the body. Two ways legal myths institutionalize the life of individuals. First, a particular notion of life instituted in the legal system. However, the characteristics are not set in stone. Any change in the understanding of life from the subject's unconscious relation to the self, the authority is transformed at the level of the symbolic, which influences the political, social, and content and logic of the law. Collapse of this bond disintegrates a paternal bond, which could lead to the collapse of the symbolic and the collapse of the normative political and legal order we know. The principle of paternity is essential to the symbolic survival of Western culture. The character of modern Western culture is the product of the paternal Oedipal logic. Second, psychoanalytical Local laws, most importantly, the law of the superego. Psychoanalytical law, rather than constituting the substance of positive law, represents an underlying logic of law. Superego gives positive law a system and institutions of rules and obligations its legitimacy. It sets its framework and enables both the compliance and the transgression of the law. The superego embodies the source of authority that the subject internalizes, associated with the figure of the imaginary father that enters the discursive practice of the Western judicial order through many of the legal writings and a legal interpreter, a judge, or a sop. Ready for cross. Alright, what does your model of debate look like? Like in a usual debate, we weigh, weigh size of length and size of impact. How do you weigh under your role of the ballot and under psychoanalysis? Right, so our role of the ballot indicates it's a question of what can allow us to be able to uncover the mythology of the law, first off, and like mythology of institutions, and be able to open those institutions to new forms of existence. Okay, but how do we determine who's ahead on that debate? Right, so I think that comes down to a question of when you could talk about what particular notions, like if you present, let's assume you presented a counter psychoanalytical model, for example, Wilderson or something else. If we were to weigh that, we would weigh the direct impacts that that model has, who it has that impacts for, and what that impact can do for society in relationships to that. Okay, but how, how do we weigh impact. those? Like, is that like size of blank, like huge or calc, or I, I think, what, what are those weighing arguments? What do you mean by size of blank? Like, strength of blank is obviously a question. I think you have to do that analysis under that framing, right? I think that obviously, if, you ha if there's like a, all things equal, we helped like a thousand people and you helped 10,000 people, then 10,000, like a, a more accessible model would be appropriate, but that's not because of a utilitarian calculus, but because of a question of accessibility or a question of larger okay, society. Yeah, so I'm questioning how you add to question this accessibility. Right, huh? I'm questioning how you would determine how much accessibility there is. How do you do and analyze your arguments and make arguments? Like there, I don't think there is an objective metric that I can say like your psychoanalysis outweighs mine because that doesn't okay, so exist. there's no objective metric to no. what I want to see. No. Let's talk about the uh, the plan text. Do you defend a hypothetical action by the government? No. Okay. Um, what does the app do then? The app engages in and defends a model of psychoanalytical jurisprudence to break down the systems of signifiers that betray and allow immunity for certain people in the legal system. What does that mean, though? Like the breaking down of psychoanalysis jurisprudence. Right. So psychoanalytical jurisprudence, as per our good and evidence, is a process where we analyze the ideological justifications for the law and the subjective relationship that people who are like partake in legal strategies have to those laws and are able to interrogate them and understand them. All right. That's fine. Let's go to the Zevnik uh, as evidence. Which the, one? Uh, second piece of evidence, the okay. one that's at the end of. Uh, what's the implication of this argument? Depends. The implication in the app is that it, it's a framing argument. Okay, why is it a framing argument? Right, so it makes the argument that the societal consciousness is not, is something that is like socially constructed, something that can be deconstructed, and something that can be changed. Okay, so it just means the app has solvency. But it has no implication, it's not like, uh, like impacts other things. 
It can impact other things. Okay, well, how does it impact other things? I don't know. What are other things? Okay, how does it, like, just, like, what implication? I just want to know what this evidence has an implication on. The evidence says a lot of things that have many different implications, dude. I don't know what that means. The, I'll, I'll explain to you what the evidence says. That might help. Sure. It says that social norms are socially constructed. Those are called the superego. We can maintain or deconstruct those depending on how we relate to that. It also indicates that rules and obligations are constructed from this base level of ideology. Changing that is necessary to change other things in the Okay, system. yeah, okay. I got it. That makes sense now. Thank you. is uh being a little chubby and it's about to crash. Alright, we're getting it. Thanks. This form is prep, right? Yeah. First off, is topicality interpretation. The affirmative must only defend a policy action that limits qualified immunity to you, and so thus you must defend a hypothetical action by a government. You can have non topical issues like psychological analysis, but it's advantage your policy action. But you cannot claim that you are obviously so fight them. They should win for that result. Means that an act of law, where's the phrase 64 race definition of result, is uh, similar to the uh, two word an act means to stop the law. And the first one who resort on Google who defines support qualified immunity is a legal doctrine, like all 16 rights qualified immunity doctrine for, uh, protects a uh, 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 government official from legal uh, liability for damage, civil damages. Now there's a couple violations versus conceding across the nation. You defend the hypothetical action of government, which means that you uh, by back of the second second is that you don't defend all qualified immunity, you only qualified immunity, at least you defend also the psychoanalytic uh, theory as your advocacy as well, which means that you're definitely violent and uh, worse than just extra top county arguments now. C standard versus ground on all top on for equitable grounds, I've been talking about fairness for the African be biased by Kevin and Sector choose the most uncontrolled absolute mm -hmm. also with the uh, German English and Jonathan Bellinsky offensive arguments like uh, uh those uh, the, the, the offensive arguments like the impact trend when you see that on the, the, the only way to, 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 to make sure that read is the fairs have one show chosen by third party job topic committee in round committee equities uh, voting issue eight one includes uh, the AC because of absolute innovators can't give the rounds of fair that means they don't get cross 
substitutions from the ECB because we don't know if these organs are true, messy at all. 14 words, suffering, and substances from the abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a suppression of abuse because the judge is about to be the same as the other debate. So, one who is a Participation Galileo seven right side to be from the last set say argument table all are critical you see have the opportunity to voice everything you went outside chase more share of competitive equity suffers and undermines the respect to the other involvement I like to ask a person about the other person said that should be fair and a fundamental condition of the knowledge of the next of the quality of voice one side comes to the main those meaningful participate seconds limits are after outside the topic justify little no infinite number asks you to defend anything that's germane to talk about why you can defend a deconstruction psychoanalysis deconstruction after present but deconstruction literally anything as long as you have the word of qualified immunity as a connection to it you can combine any of those ideas in a direction of the resolution which makes it impossible to Negative uh, propagation and only limit topics uh, for uh, protect participants from having a research overload, which materially affects uh, uh, lots of around hair search. Human rights limits has a reference to zero. Uh, when many only so only so many necessary for research knowledge to play catch up. Uh, Redo uh, go to see a movie and eight number outside in the world there, which uh, uh, in, in world war two main house is extracted in a world where the community doesn't care. How well the Christians uh, do well uh, have a life or do well in school? Talk talk about anything like you have to debate debate an uh, unending uh, nightmare. Controls internal issues. Yeah, I can engage you once you critical issues around because you would cause a research overload. So I can't have people politically engage or your cause or even research around that out around or in round which means. I'm too busy. I'm uh, constantly splitting my time in researching limits or key defense because I gotta be sure to have uh, prep to engage. Also, uh, also because it's specifically true when you don't think implementation and using what that is a topical version of the ask because uh, I should be able to read those disadvantages to be said against the second also warrants as long as they have it. Three is jurisdiction only. The judge only has jurisdiction to vote on the resolution. While the one to see might be very dramatic, the society doesn't offer a reason to vote for you if you don't defend the resolution. It only offers a reason to change the resolution. Takes out also takes out all the educational reasons for your interpretation. Verse 16 writes, uh, judges all give one obligation to vote for the debate. The winner is the one who follows the rules of the debate. Victory is the stock team scores more gold. The world activity can answer claims for judges educated to the Example exercise about one such stock construction to fill state and exercise. This is not seem to be a reason saying that reference should be filled state or exercise. Part of the defense only to trade by the rules. Uh, all these only only because the rules could change. Uh, change the rules. Uh, who change that to be the front of the house? And what seems to be what it is. The argument that maybe justifies what the rules of the debate should change. Not who should win around the resolution. Offers one of the only guidelines for returning tournament invitations for the sentence. The, uh, the rules along the lines of we will be using actual resolution. The resolution is non optional. Five is a ton of topical versions of the app. Eight points that you can defend as an implementation. Three points that you can defend implementation and hypothetical action of the government, but say that's not relevant with framework arguments. It solves like a hundred percent of your options. Three points that you can uh, use. So you wanted to actually skip that. D voter in a round equity and fairness is voter since about also debated about everything. So this issue of competitive activity takes any sort of a preview of applications like since that misunderstand what in round and fairness are is and use of contribution since we suspect which one's reasonable. Job to be there, job use has already occurred and has happened since the problem with your advocacy. One AR restarted separate since truth of the one and see because the one and see was based on your advocacy, which means it's possible and obviously you should not get it seven, six times before being abusive. Now, next off is a critique. Psychoanalysis imposition is a concept that is analyzed by force and if necessary is a form of colonization. They script a form of monetary resistance. Berkman 3 writes, uh, what's analysis considered impartial? Uh, 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 any opposition is understood to be resistance to unconscious, uh, 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 unconscious conscious uh, reluctance to be part of the pre patient to retrieve but whatever came to mind was resistance. And the analysts had to come to this by force of necessary resistance and the of the analysts, a coercive authority with the transcripts. They treat uh, those, those analysts as raw material that place the material expectation with psychological violence, and violence, replicating sort of colonial uh, violence at the stage of bad Berkman 3 writes, uh, psychoanalysis observation presupposes the scientific observer whose uh, conclusion found attachment to the subject's uh, such a model so allow Christians to ignore the burden of both methods with historical construction in the context of it, also domination of their worldviews and their interpretations like analysis have their domination of the subject and psychology can't create uh, uh, create can't create for the black body because it assumes a human analysis and they also recreate uh, the idea from it recreates anti-black solution ten right psychology counter in the general worst and front of the white subject realization of self-position by bond says running on the lawsuit and also both speech over in white uh, but here deliberated master uh, uh, unlike fan itself blacks uh, situated in absolute lacons uh, and also situated in person uh, how do you trust lacons uh, assessment of the blacks and just country say how do you solve could be renamed uh, the full speech, white speech, Washington, not apply even after the liberal with the English has uh, has rediscovered the nation. This will be slate in the wood pile and uh, skip the next card. The figures in the position of man is a racial assemblage of black is a black is a position of dissimulated inside and outside the man, which are, creates a condition for emergence and social demarcation between man, human, and aqua human separate should uh, below the uh, deconstruction of man as a category like world about deconstruct uh, the deconstruct the European man of the alternative uh, is uh, what I just explained more than two rights. The religious uh, the religious self gave way to the man's man uh, race has come to define human uh, race comes to work into the fleshy white one on the subject uh, encounters the, the, the fullness of being human uh, human in relation with the objective of the last subject the indigenous racialized subject with dominant age of the uh, human is defined as the uh, you know, organic and 
blood pressure should should be redeployed to coding nervous and social health and all that become the organized into and talk with flesh and racialized on failure is master code in the global one that distinguishes human and aquahuman and all the bonds that creates an aquahuman black the all the other constraints that extracts man we must have first question human epistemic borders that creation of the same human health card there and we have our heaviest corpus relation on the assembly trail which transforms the higher level of the flesh into the line of light a new a new type of superior screen which can a true racial assembly should whereas a delicate to oppose in the world of men only natural civil or affirmation is it's the new genre of humanity washing three red flags that you can the judicial humanity the hyper hyper growth of the bits of flesh you have to suffer this is a reason for the population of oppression uh we have any way man represents the western human and heterosexual uh white liberal subject that represents all who not conform as uh we're not humans so we love being humanity so relational also let's show it out of the map and comes to the inclusion of knowing the uh subject to the false truth of russian humanity well the territories of man and subject of humanity maybe have that is one of the primary technology of black states not to be so we'll sustain bounds that change we like life and uh facility they hold violent god is our strong strong place to man health card there now let's go let's go into the case arguments of the case arguments of the overview to the uh the case of the person that the uh the critique arguments question your starting point which you cannot access on second is that don't allow new i like makes any new applications to you allow new tuna responses that are completely unclear what across the ac which means that they are new arguments that get new responses although it screws up the uh when it's because of the response arguments before they're made uh before they were made and i know how they're applied which means that obviously it's very bad for my strategy and i have no idea how to do that now you're you're a summary where i can't can't create any sort of specific but it's question how we orient ourselves towards that now these are not even at the bottom first is that i access this well because i deconstruct the same sort of system all the links prove it just why you do not do this okay uh, during my prep can you send out a version with the cut stuff you cut out of yeah it? okay so let's start on the critique what is habeas viscous uh it's viewing identity as fluid okay how is that distinct from the affirmative all the links proved by that, that is not the case. I want to know simply like in a vacuum how the methodology is distinct from the affirmative, it helps me understand it. So the argument is that we deconstruct identity and the act does not do that in the exact same way. You don't Okay, what is the Okay, that, that, that's precisely my argument. question. What is the exact way that the negative deconstructs identity? It views it as completely viscous. It can move around. We're not defining it as anything. Great. Sounds like psychoanalysis. So my next question is what does it mean to deconstruct the European man? So we do not take the stance that like the European man is the basis that everything else is defined against. So we do not define subjectivity and identity in that way. Okay, so what is the European man? Uh, it's just like whiteness, right? It's like a white person. People are, are defined against this sort of liberal how is that? Subject. How is that constructed? I would say it's like the, the critique doesn't isn't based on like when that is constructed, but like it's probably based on like things like colonialism, uh, like European power. That created it. Okay. Uh, topicality. Your competitive equity argument is that you should weigh in round competitive equity equity claims, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So you have. It seems to me that you have a full on critique of psychoanalysis. How do any of your in round skew arguments make any sense? In the First, context? I have way less choices. You force me into this critique. Uh, which I probably shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't be able to pigeonhole the negative into one argument. This, this is the only argument? Uh, no. So, okay, that's cool. So let's go you talk, also about, haven't made let's this talk about the topical. So. so it's not the only argument, but let's talk about the topical version of the app. You say we can defend it as an advantage, and the viewpoint is we can defend it as implementation. What does it mean to defend something as implementation? So you can say that you implement the resolution as a policy action, but just say that the, the policy action is irrelevant. Why didn't you ask for cross X? I did. You, I literally asked no, you to defend a hypothetical action. I don't defend a hypothetical action in the United States. Okay, we'll just that's, that's literally the definition. We'll just defend what implementation means. That, that's, that's we'll debate what implementation means. Okay, it's not even. So we'll debate what implementation means. It's not even. Come on, come on. Come on. I have the next question. What is the so what is the internal link to me reading this app and then like people putting debate as per your like spice evidence? So if rounds are always rigged against you, people are not going to want to do debate. What are you, Donald Trump? How is this round rigged against you? Uh, because you don't even defend the resolution. This is like the only rule debate has and you're not following it. All right. <laughs> then you say limits because it overloads and kicks people out of debate. This is your Harris evidence. What is the internal warrant to that? Okay, so if we have to defend, research literally everything, then that would probably take all our time to do anything. Also, it would probably be best to get an independent disadvantage the reason why people wouldn't do debate because that's like way too much work. Okay.
change order is it's 145. The case is going to start off with like a decent overview, extending the app, starting with the roll of the ballot. Then it's going to go to like offense in the app, which is responses, the critique, and then the tweet. Can you send me anything you hear? How are you? Okay. I'll pass you these. The ballot to vote for the best methodology in analyzing unconscious as every 16 framing of instructional results, societal consciousness of the super ego politics, ethnic legality are all dependent on underlying ideological bases that are scaled upwards into institution process of analysis, focus of the critique of the unconscious internal and social relationships or that occupy the authority of each other are crucial to deconstruct construct change and break down from the bottom up. That's open to new possibilities that also takes up all these hideous discus arguments that indicate that structure is ultimately inevitable. It'll be constructed by a social conscious only a question of our relationship to the needs to deconstruct it. I'll give that in the capable observers and he actually does that now on the actual extension of the app. What extent the good kind of the evidence qualified immunity is not purely legal in its nature, nor is limited to the courtroom. The community functions as expansive symbolic system psychological jurisprudence engaged in an analysis of the unconscious that's involved regimes which give those tools to be able to justify those systems and insert subjectivity back in the law while exposing a socially constructed nature and create a better judicial process through that mechanism by being able to understand the specificity of the law now and since the seen impact of this legal system is offered according to the logic of the universal human subject which is what his evidence indicates is bad and enforces subjective models which are able to account for different institutions confined subjectivity into similar forms create a false sense of oneness in which the system can continue to function the impact is edible subjectivity the paternalistic logic forces a wholeness which exterminates any and all divergent subjects while at the same time forces logic to be internalized that causes psychic violence is the root cause of all the societal violence arguments I'll go for it. It also outweighs our arguments of human ontology, the mechanism that constructs of it could, from which all other interactions of the world follow. Now, they extend the risk about 14 evidence. It takes out the entire the critique, institutions of discipline, such as the law already assume external resistance within their framework without resi resistance, such as criminals. No one can understand that the alien the CGS cannot exist. Anything less than a larger critique of the underlying ideological mechanism that uphold the institutions will fail and is insufficient because it only reifies the structures of power that have already presumed them from the very beginning. Now, on the critique of the proper first permutation. Permutation do both good or tiny seven add the evidence in case our methodology of psychoanalytical jurisprudence enables to resubjectification by exposing the internal structure that enables their presence. That's key to make critique based shape now. Permutation to the app in the negative sequence is crucial to be enabled to net benefits of the app and apply voice on the out. Breaking down the unconscious signifier just by violence must come first to be able to actually be able to engage in the, the process of the negative. Now the case arguments are entirely conceded, even if they don't get to interact with T, they certainly interact with the critique because the substantive argument he has no reason why the engagement of everything being fluid is a psychoanalyst. It'll probably break down the engagement for psychoanalysis in the first place because it indicates that there is no way we can analyze the unconscious, which destroys the root ability for us to be able to have psychoanalysis in the first place. Now, so the under link of one clinical psychoanalysis is distinct from what our good rich evidence indicates. It focuses on the subjectivity within the system of the law. Your good rich, your Brickman evidence is specific to the idea of, of the idea of clinical psychoanalysis, which is what we defend. Second, it's key to break down colonization. Phenon proves with your Wilmerson evidence because Wilmerson indicates that phenon is what's necessary to be able to articulate a black woman suffering through the idea of psychoanalysis, which means that our process is a good sociological heuristic, even if it's not the best one right now. And the European man is in relation to the signifier, which means our role about is a prior question. None of their arguments are specifically unique to be able to solve that. T. First, prioritize in round abuse. That's his argument of competitive equity. Reading a specific case of psychoanalysis is the reason why he has ground and can engage specific cards is not a bad strategy, which means there's probably some terminal defense of the question. Now that the terminal is in dissent, top county was an objective interpretation that attempts to create a homogenized oneness that justifies the imposition of paternalistic signifiers. This limits possible forms of life on acting liberal violence or oppression and disqualification of any difference. That turns their the limits are because in any case, that we should promote the idea of difference. We should not be able to limit difference because it's only what allows us to be able to limit a particular subject was out of that, which means the impact of the world value. Now, an impact turns policy making most one is a top down strategy that doesn't allow us to take specificity of people into account. Now, there is a judicial and this that top county creates an imaginary father by enabling judges to impose laws upon subject that specifically and our subject 16 frame gives this cause internalization of eternalism makes societal constructs the objective extending all forms of life that uphold particular narratives of objectively true that's from the law of the evidence and the link turns our fairness arguments and indicate that you exclude certain narratives in the space of debate which is a structural antagonism as per our rule of evidence also impact turns limits because the imposition of four upon subjects excludes them and unlimited forms of life are good now on the line of line about the competitive equity arguments first I the app is structurally skewed due to the time for one hour the negative ability to generate multiple laws being able to uh, weigh the case is key to structural engagement without weight because we can't respond to the arguments otherwise not the rule 
bound to see there's no contestation that's a very rough frame here. You should default to the function in the same layer because of that. Now, on the top of the version of the app, we defend implementation that was in the OIC process. If you won't defend the United States, doesn't, but we will defend that qualified immunity decreases and that qualified immunity is bad. Now, he says the defense is an advantage. Advantages don't solve our process analysis, both methodological and performative. It's that it is not just a result, but a process. Now, on the idea of the jurisdiction argument, Genetic 16 rule of good 97 indicate that understanding of laws of linguistic and textual signifier has no innate meaning, but are given constructive meaning, which means it excludes topicality because our analytical exposure to the mythological base for textual law shows that they have no internal justification. It is a hollow and meaningless act. That's the 70 16 impact evidence specifically isolates that once a myth is exposed, it cannot be reconstructed. His loss of power is a tool of unconscious influence. It's like Santa Claus. You see, it's fake. You don't believe him anymore. Uh, I only read parts. Yeah, I didn't read all of this stuff. I read, uh, read parts of it. Before we start, so. Those are mostly just like guidelines for me. Yeah, can you like tell me what you did read and read on this? Uh, I read. Sorry, I'm not very good at dating. Because most of the stuff would extend to. And this was the argument you read on jurisdiction? Yeah. Wait, did you read a card? No, no, there's one in card.
It's going to be tough county. Starting with uh, both of you. First, I don't allow new to wear a ring. Arguments because the winner had the opportunity to make white garments. It just shows not to know to wear them. Say, I'm going to let you wear it. Because the juice clash because I don't, I can't respond to this argument. So, I'm going to win there. Maybe the two because I don't have a three in our beef. One is it makes two and a false on this one. The arguments before they are made, which means that I can determine the direction of one of the most important arguments because he made a zero way in comparison. Now, although there are going to be three, the second part of the overview is that there's three standards that can be relevant in this debate. First is all the fairness based arguments. Argument. Second is the uh, judiciary disadvantage. Second, the third is the criminals and disadvantage. Fourth is the uh, gold about impact on arguments. The fairness arguments come first. That is literally every single argument that was conceded in the last week. Reason why fairness comes first, the three warrants of the fairness comes first, the Massey at all evidence, the Susie at all three evidence, the Galileo all seven evidence. I will make our take specific articulation weight comes why those uniquely come first. And I'm the only one to have all the back to the fairness weight when that logically comes prior to all the other evidence, which means that even if you think he's winning these other impacts, they do not matter because the fairness arguments are logically prior and uniquely come first. Now it's going to be the long line of the interpretation problem. Because any interpretation that you must be topical, you uh, must defend a topical action or through, through legislation. Now you can see the words are phrase 64 evidence. The result of defending a habit of being to defend the law, to defend a hypothetical world of enacting the file of the document. And I you can see both the violations that you don't find hypothetical action and that you defend your advocacy as psychoanalysis, which means, you know, which means your advocacy at best, extra cheap, which means so wildly your advocacy out. The ground center, this is where you vote negative. It's literally not touched by the other. They are out on last speech, which means that they can literally any single app they want to. They can find psychoanalysis, they can send a rejecting racism, they can start rejecting oppression as they want to see. There's no way that they can choose a fair one to see in the world of uh, uh, the world of the interpretation, which means that I lose every single round because they, you know, they, can, uh, they can choose the best of a possible round at the top. And now, this argument is 100% conceded, which means I lose every single round. Now, there's uh, three impacts on the uh, defense way here. A point is a preclusion argument, which is the mass at all 14 evidence says that a preclusion can fairly evaluate the substance. On our first, it means it's a high slayer on the weighing big between the rule about and the rule of balance, the case of the arguments and the arguments we make on the judiciary, the area, paternals, and disadvantage. Because you cannot determine if those evidence are if evidence is true because I don't have to have a fair chance to contest them because I don't know what the arguments are. For example, I gave a 25 minute to an R, then you would still lose around even if you're ruled about, and I wouldn't be ruled about even if it was not, uh, not true, which means this argument logically comes through. You cannot do these cross applications because we do not know if those cross applications are true, which means you cannot evaluate them. This is a logically high slayer of the flow. B1 is the inclusivity argument, which you can see as well as the species of all O3 evidence which is that it kills inclusivity because of. Uh, like, 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 it kills inclusivity because they never get to access the ballot because people just quit debate if they never can access the ballot, which means that even if your message is a good thing, if all your rules about and judiciary so defense are a good thing, it doesn't matter because the debate ends once this happens. Which means that has the largest impact on the ground because it controls internally to all your internal and disadvantage rule about arguments because we don't get, have this educational space in the world of uh, people. Everyone quits debate, which you can see this internal impact on the ground standard now. Uh, no, it's, it's the ground standard now, so you said the goal of way of seven never says the violation of the fairness hurt discussion because they never had who we go because we, because I never actually discussed the one to see, which means that, it, which means that even if we buy your rule about mine, so that's a way to engage on the world about now. Uh, the, now I interact with the argument of a round of use, which, uh, which, which you just made very quickly, but it's going to possibly apply on the ground. Standard first said this is terrible ground. I, I shouldn't have been able to pigeonhole and critique uh, eight points because it's all unpredictable. I literally uh, figured out what this case was like 45 seconds before the round. There's no way I can actually give the points. I'm not going for it in the two and which, uh, which are apparently cruise the abuse. I'm not having a chance on it because I got crushed by one of your front lines because uh, this uh, that is so good because uh, you just, just use whatever you want, which is no way can, uh, no, no, no way can go, uh, go, go for it. Just, uh, this argument is also just a blip in the last week, which means you're not about way three is out. Uh, three, 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 four, is that uh, in round of, uh, out of round of abuse is in round of abuse because it's uh, because it effectively you want to see strategy. I, I was supposed to waste time on top of academic, which means still impacts the arguments now. Uh, 
Let's go on to their counter-interpretation offense. As you know, if you show the counter-interpretation offense first, you can see that the arguments that you cannot away the cross applications. So you determine those cross applications. Determine which means that all your arguments about what the world about external disadvantage are not uh, are not offensive interpretation because they know there's no reason for why they, those arguments are true. So the arguments on case do not apply. Second, the counter-interpation on neither service on the outvalues key key where your white critique must be a voting issue or your absence. You can see the browns all your offensive fitness. Fourteen rights of football teams decided to make a political seem more important than football. They will mistake another field and initiate a form second out. How much in world where the assumption says victory a traditional future like Susan top of the club he said recognize that they cannot oversold and win because of future present critiques whenever they choose, which means that you will be. 100% of your options, you can discuss all these things that you say are good. We and here we can avoid the share just expansion funds. Just uh, don't defend this year. Obviously, you just have it as a part of the winning team, which are like, ah, oh, just uh, check out this cool fact that I have. Uh, now let's go on the arguments on the specific why line. Uh, you, say, you say hedge fund ideal, uh, ideal station and uh, turns back limits uh, because it promotes it, so it becomes has some sort of uh, it has some sort of like objective rule. First, they turn you follow rules, except well, because you follow things like speech times, which means rules are inevitable, and also you link to the arguments. Second, that you do uh, your sec 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 second is that you want to see follows rules as well. I you read certain cards, which means that it definitely buys the arguments. The, the, uh, the rules are inevitable, which means the question is to make sure that those uh, rules are on reciprocal lines, which all the top cutting arguments. Nice safe defense of top down approaches bad first. I used to know that there's, there's no impact to this on fairness education level, which means it's not a matter of the top cutting. Second, that turn that's only going to create a little agreeable change because the only way we can actually uh, use policy actions to create material harm, which we see really good from three is that uh, the top conversion of the Africans will answer back the circuit sound using the laws upon the, uh, 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 upon the subject, which is your judicial like, disadvantage. First of all, you cross the argument, you can't, uh, they can't uh, use crop like across the nation. see seconds, I know because I still have to win that you are fair and it's contestable, which means I'm not enforcing this rule on you. Uh, I'm just winning that it's a true three. It's not a court, which means it's not matter. There's no impact to financial education on this argument. I say times you should to get this argument first. Like, you should still be fair. You deserve to have your one to see moving if I win the fair argument. If I, if I, if I win the top counter, which means this argument doesn't apply. Second, that side bias goes negative because, like, because you get the last speech out of with the points. Uh, you don't give a one for this time, so you just assert that to be true, which means that there's no reason for that should be one to say. Let's explain. And here's what you think comes first. Uh, so I'll see you one to say that the flow. Last speech means you can be persuasive. Even if there's a time you, you can't just to ignore the flow, which means it doesn't matter because uh, you, you're so persuasive on the ethos level. Now, the, uh, now the arguments that you make on the weakness logistics are uh, logistics are going to be jurisdiction argument. You say, uh, this, this just takes like, a lot of the brands of why uh, I get access to the jurisdiction thing. Like I'm also going to the jurisdiction claim, which means my education is not a voter, which excludes all their offense, which they throw over the argument. You can send the argument out, out of brands of opinion that there's no topical that the, 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 the things like education and a role about do not matter because they don't follow the rules of the game. You should call for the card after Monday. It's fantastic on this question, which means that uh, all your education offense does not matter because it's not considered a role about, which is the only thing that's relevant, which means all my fairness arguments impact actually, which means that you arguments just, uh, just matter. Sex is the cross application arguments take that out as well, which means that the education words that he gives do not matter. They're not part of your position for judge. Just, uh, just like I permit and all the uh, hustling and soccer, it was not a reason why a referee should reward. You should not wear them for how often you're permanent. But I see also the top version of the app. I'll go for the eight point of social our offense. Uh, the B point is what they teach you. Actually, you say you say uh, qualified to increase in bad, but I obviously cannot be my implementation. This going to be you don't defend implementation because I don't defend hypothetical action. You can just defend that. Solves all your offense. What I'm talking about. is going to go to case as an overview, then fatigue. We're starting on his overview on fatigue. Same overview from whatever? Yeah. Or
The true articulation in the context of the world about and how it interacts with fairness is completely awful. You should give the Q&A a relay on this question, especially when there's no weighing done. This is conceded. It takes out the jurisdiction argument because it indicates that the 716 evidence indicates that the super ego constructs the way in which we understand social constructions. For example, structures may be inevitable, but they are only socially constructed, which means we can always change the fact that there is some traditional or mechanism of debate. His jurisdictional claims do not have any impact related to it. It's only said that the jurisdictional claim of the debate is because of resolutions of the state's point. Our argument is that the resolution can mean many different things. That is our linguistic argument that comes out of the 16 evidence. Now, the more important argument is that psychological jurisprudence is a process of analysis that interrogates the justification the framers of the law have, and the reason the laws are the way they are, why certain things are it allows subjectivity to make a return to a system that's dominated by text from hundreds of years ago. The unique articulation that is our good, our good, rich evidence when articulates that. He's also conceded our subject 16 evidence and all oh, the way we do it. That legal system is operated according to the logic of the universal human subject. It opposes things from a top down perspective that doesn't take into account the specificity of individuals. He's conceded that that outweighs on edible subjectivity because it causes a paternalistic logic that excludes difference, which is the root cause of all forms of violence. He's conceded it outweighs because it's specific to ontology. It structures the way in which subject can even function. So we need to be wearing a single risk of us being able to weigh the act uh, against the teach children. There's a reason why we will outweigh substantively. Now the T debate for a proper person his own we've got no two narrow weighing. We have done weighing on the Zendig evidence and weighing as to why we get to weigh the case because of structural skews. It means you can vote after the case debate when I get to that point. You say that you didn't do it then the second you can trace all the two in our arguments back to the one and see if you cannot reasonably think that they came from there, do not justify them and let me do that. You should spend a lot of time evaluating this debate, especially when he just does a shit can and the two and R try to make sure that the two and R is going to respond. Now you say they don't offer the counterpretation of the paternalism disam against this entirely in the two and R. We are not performative thing that says voting act is key to structure. Our argument is the balance of question of what methodology is good and a question of competing methodology in the debate, which is the reason why your against of this circle does not apply, do not read it for him, except when he's read in the 2NR. Now you say in veterans policy, but you say you say that we follow rules. Do you consider the internal war to paternalism decide which dodges this? Even if we do follow some rules, our Zemnic rules without evidence indicates that something ruling following some rules is bad, but imposing rules on others is not any better. Our paternalism decide indicates that the affirmative or the totality offered are through an objective interpretation that attempts to will that to homogenize the space of debate as to what it means to be able to participate in debate. This is not an education claim, but an internal winter to all the rule the ballot arguments and uh, and the framers claims because he's conceded that it is it limits a possible form of life that enables the liberal violence or oppression to Qualification of difference, it impacts her limits, which is getting turned away to his ground argument because it indicates that it promotes oneness. We should have a open proliferation of debate that allows us the ability to understand the debate as many different mechanisms. That is an impact turn to the entire idea that we should be able to uh, compartmentalize debate in particular things of divisions of ground. You also can see the internal impact turns policy making, which answers your top closure of the act because it promotes oneness via a top down strategy, which has been impacted out all over the case debate. Now, on the line by line of the proper, he says you can't cross why. All right, now let's go to the weighing on why I can't cross apply my arguments. He's not actually answered the internal war or claim the act is structurally skewed to a time for 20 hours and the negative ability to generate multiple laws. Being able to weigh the case is key to structural engagement, which outweighs because we can't respond. He's always arguing to raise the substantive view that yes, it may be hard for you to win when I'm persuasive, but it is structurally impossible for the 20 hour to respond to multiple laws position, especially when we cannot weigh the act against Hobbit County because it just results in two hours exactly like this one, where there's no way for us to weigh. Second, you can see that speaking last may give you a strategic advantage, but there is no reason that that would. Yeah, may give a strategic advantage. There's no reason that all his arguments are why it logically comes prior. There's no such thing in logic in the debate when you're talking about jurisprudence and the and political consciousness. We have won a structural theoretical claim to all of his, his substantive claims.
We'll be right back.
Congratulations to both debaters on reading or reaching doubles round of the prestigious half value tournament. Uh, it is a 2 1 to the affirmative. Congratulations. Hi, I'll go first. I'm um, So, basically, a run comes down to a lot of like whether or not I value the key, right? So, um, it's a question of framing on this in streams. So, I think that. Both of y'all here is very polarizing. That Graham, you're winning definitely a lot under like the paternalism decide the role of the balance is first, and Parker the other way around, right? So it's just a question of whether or not it's the role of the balance first versus um, versus the fairness argument. And I think I'd like err a little more towards fairness here. And there are basically two big reasons here: the um, Galloway evidence and the Massey evidence for me. So mm, basically, it seems that the question about this round, uh, what makes it a little difficult for me, is that it's like one of those like endless group postures. You know what I mean? Like those like, oh yeah, the role of the valley controls whether or not we can have this discussion, but then like the fairness controls whether or not we can have the role of the valley. You know, things like that. So it's kind of hard to like evaluate at the very end of it. But I do think that there's a little more win coming from the net side on this, at least in that. Um, the problem with what I think is that the answers to Massey and Galloway seem to rely on the presumption that we are already following the role of the ballot when that is not necessarily the case because that's what Massey and Galloway are like answering. So it's a matter of like whether or not we still have a productive conversation under the role of the ballot. And Massey and Galloway both say that we can't for like various reasons and that we don't know what truth value is unless it's fair discussion and other arguments like that. So I think that if it comes to that, I think that uh, if I like look at the round with key and I evaluate like fairness first and there's like a lot of like structural reasons and that like okay it's like not cool to pigeonhole me things like that um so I think that if that's the case theory just comes as a prerequisite to whether or not we can sufficiently talk about psychoanalysis I don't get to the AC so I can't vote there and you can't really vote off of the paternalism this ads or anything like that because you seem to have impacts back to the role of the ballot and I evaluate fairness before that so there's no education that was nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, I see it uh, similarly. I think it's pretty much fairness versus the paternalism DA. I think that uh, like instead of going for all three impacts to fairness in the two AR, you should just go for one of them and like really sit down on the impact count. And also probably not the jurisdiction standard either, uh, because I think a lot of it uh, is similar to like what she was saying about the like infinite root cause chain. I think the difference for me is I assign like a little bit of a higher risk to the app being true. Like the Massey, like the Massey card, like is fairly mitigatory in the app that like because you couldn't 
engage with it if we don't know that it's true. But I don't know that that completely takes out. Like, I still think there's some truth value to the app. And especially when, like, it's completely conceded to an R. You don't, like, have any defense on it. Like, I'm going to give him uh, some credence or some risk that, like, that the app has value. And at that point, I think the paternalism that that, like, is outweighs, like, a lot, I think, because I think it has like a much clearer external metric to evaluate it. The impact of fairness you're going for is that like I don't know if the app is true or not, but if there's some risk that I know the app is true or not, and then there's this huge disadd to your interpretation because it like imposes norms and causes all this violence for like all the cards in the app, and then I should prefer that because of the role of the ballot evidence. I think that's like pretty good weighing in terms of like why that is just a, a far bigger impact. Do you think there's a wing to an R? Yeah, I do. I think uh, I think the C and R just spread itself out uh, way too much. Like personally, like I think framework is just like true. Like I think like the app should affirm the top of policy. But like <laughs> personally, but like that's you know I'm not gonna just <laughs> like two and R. Sits on one I think I think if the, yeah I think if the two and R I think if the two and R either sits on limits or the people quitting debate. Uh, impact of fairness in combination with like, like I think the, the extension of the Matsy argument is conceded, so it could be like 30 seconds long, just like a sign, like he says all this, he cross all this stuff in the app, don't buy it, and then like people quit debate when apps are unfair, that's really bad, because debate is like, debate is good, like we learn stuff, or whatever. Uh, or just the limits offense, which I think is like also a good external impact, but like, how do you evaluate the side bias impact during debate that that's recent case doesn't get to get weighed? Uh, I didn't see it as the explanation I have that argument in the 1AR is give me new answers to the cross applications from case, not he doesn't get to make cross applications in the case. Even if it's like he wouldn't get to like make cross applications in the case, the way the paternalism is that is framed is like basically is a completely new argument. Like he's not like, you know, he's not like really like just taking the app and weighing it. Like I'm not voting against framework because it would exclude the app and the app is good. I'm voting against framework because the framework is paternalistic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think I evaluate it the same way. I think that the worldview articulated by the affirmative is like an impact term to the practice of reading theory itself. And I think that like you're articulating a lot of warrants as to like why those kind of social and cultural understandings of like norms and rules are problematic and that we should probably deconstruct those things. Um, so I think that it's like the 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 you know framework argument is is doing those sorts of things. And in terms of like the topical version of the app, I think this is also answered by those sorts of ideas because it's like saying there is one preferred method or structure in which we can read, you know, talk about psychoanalysis. It's saying like there should be this one rule or practice that like frames the way we talk about psychoanalysis. I think the affirmative is saying that we should deconstruct that very like method of thinking in the first place, that we shouldn't be allowed to impose those sorts of restrictions on the way we think. Um, and then in terms of like the fairness first claims, I think, um, I don't know, I tend to, to lean towards the affirmative arguments about how like, because I like to see it as a, a model debate type thing, where it means like, you know, if you don't allow me to have, to have cross applications of any sort uh, at any point in the debate against, you know, framework in general, it seems like that sets up a model of debate where it like incentivizes negatives to just be able to say, well, you can't cross apply anything, so I'm just gonna read all these different, you know, off case positions that I think uh, it's probably a worse model for today, so I think it also functions as sort of a link to fairness in that sense. Loki, otherwise, like not directly about the two and I strategy, but I was incredibly entertained by this entire you engage me with fake out thing. I like was really cool. People could not have to engage on his page to be like that was a funny strategy. I liked it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks.